Well, hello, Sagittarius. Welcome to Josie K. Tarot. I'm Josie K. And this is the second half of August, <clears throat> pardon me, of 2022 spiritual guidance reading. So for the Sagittarius reading, I've been guided to the Tarot of Dreams deck. It is time for big dreams, to dream big uh, towards the second half of this year. Uh, because I feel like big doorways are opening up for a lot of Sagittariuses who are ready for a new chapter in their lives. So dear Lord, Spirit, Guides, and Angels, please bless whichever Sagittarius I am reading for during this general reading. Sun, Moon, or Rising, Male or Female, Venus, Saturn, Pluto, Jupiter, and so on. Please bless this Sagittarius with clearly defined messages of guidance for the second half of August of 20. 22. So we had a card jump. Mid-August, we have a Sagittarius who may be connecting with a younger air sign, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini. Uh, this is also about acknowledging and communicating uh, some form of truth, you know. Uh, whatever it is that you want to communicate about, you're going to feel and probably have been feeling strong enough to communicate that. So in the thoughts position, see, Spirit is saying we are trying to bring you to a point where you can celebrate a beautiful foundation in your life with family and friends. You may be thinking about uh, celebrating uh, something in relation to home or family here, to moving in or engagement here, acknowledging your truth of what a happily ever after type foundation and family foundation looks like to you. Oh my, Sagittarius is, is thinking deep. Now in the relationship sector, we do have the page of coins energy. This could be a younger uh, earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So in the relationship sector, we have maybe two children, one who has air in their chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, and one who has earth in their chart, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. There is going to be a greater emphasis on the energy of family and home that will be in your thoughts during the second half of August of 2022, Sagittarius. Now, in the creative aspects position, we've got the major arcana, the tower. So we have a shocking realization of some sort creatively, wanting to create communication about family and the celebration of family and your foundation. Maybe you're communicating with an air sign and an earth sign in your life. But we'll confirm these messages in a little bit. Now, in the actions position, we have the Four of Cups. So it's like, you know, I've done something three times or I have experienced three emotional situations. And now I am wondering uh, if a new connection is a true offer here. I want to celebrate something. But some are coming to a realization here that there's an empty cup on offer here. Wow. So what are you going to do? In the emotional aspects position, male or female, we have the Queen of Coins energy. So the Queen of Pentacles uh, is uh, the energy of Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. Or they have that in their chart. So there's someone who wants to communicate a truth maybe to uh, this feminine energy or uh, you're growing and prospering and are excited to share a truth regarding the abundance that is taking place in your mind and in your life. There could very well during the second half of August, Sagittarius, be this communication in the relationship sector to others here regarding money, a surprising communication regarding money. And then this indecision about what it is that fulfills you emotionally or who. Now in the subconscious position, we have the Ten of Pentacles energy. So Spirit is saying, remember, we are trying to guide you into the direction of a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to money, stability, tradition. Day to day. As you continue to work hard throughout the second half of August of 2022, Sagittarius, uh, there will be positive communication with others with the Three of Pentacles energy. Positive and shocking communication of a truth. Wow. Now, there could be a third party situation involving communication with an Earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. 
wanting to get to the truth, communicate the truth, and figure out uh, what fulfills you here in the second half of August of 2022, Sagittarius. In your inner strengths position, you've got the major arcana of the chariot, so spirits coming in saying, we are going to guide you beyond all difficulties uh, into the direction of a path that is victorious. We want to guide you into what it is you are wishing for. Communication will come in the area of home and family where there can be a celebration of abundance, success, victory. So it's almost like a disbelief here is what I'm feeling, especially by the end of August of 2022 for this Sagittarius, male or female, about the truth of this victory. Can we now really travel into the direction of some form of reason to celebrate in the area of family? Uh, maybe there are going to be two children in the situation or there's just, you know, communicating with them about some form of abundance. You may be connecting with someone, whether they have earth in their chart or not, who is uh, very financially stable, secure and, and, and a very motherly giving type energy. So on the bottom of the deck. Sagittarius, we have the Empress energy. So male or female, this is spirit helping you to give birth to what you choose in your life. So in a three-card summary with the same Tarot of Dreams deck, we've got the Priestess, the Eight of Cups, and the Queen of Cups. So we have the Empress energy, mother figure, grandmother figure. We could have a mother figure and a grandmother figure. We've got the High Priestess and the Empress. So Spirit's saying the High Priestess energy is going to help you to observe what, you're, what you want to give birth to with the Empress energy in a slow and clearly determined way. To not take action until you know exactly who or what you want to give birth to. So there could be some here uh, giving birth with the uh, manifesting with the magician energy, um, a connection with someone who has air in her chart, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, uh, or this is you getting to the truth of someone who may be trying to manipulate you. So we got a lot of different things going on here. Yes, if there's an Aquarius, now I'm seeing the communication with maybe an Aquarius with a major arcana, the star card. Uh, there is definitely some form of devil energy tied to this wish. Be careful what you wish for. Um, yeah. You could feel like you're leaving troubled waters behind okay so for some spirit saying follow the path of money right you've come a long way you've created a lot now you can leave troubled waters behind old connections behind uh, that may have had air in their chart libra aquarius or gemini uh, there could be uh, discontent and unfulfillment when it comes to one person direction career opportunity or another but spirit saying free yourself yeah, we just saw, I just saw, uh, the King of Wands, so male or female, uh, a Sagittarius who has grown and built a life for themselves, who has created a family, who is now thinking about uh, deeper marriage commitment or partnership with this uh, Queen of Wands. So a very passionate feminine. Uh, there is kind communication being advised here in the second half of August for you, Sagittarius, because you are in connection, some of you, with the Two of Cups energies with a soulmate. So old paths can be brought full circle with the major arcana of the moon uh, as you step into this palace of swords, okay, into the truth of victory and success, going away from old difficulties, old emotions, and, um, ooh, be careful if you are a Sagittarius who is feeling like you don't have enough, whether it's financially or personally, uh, you could very well make a decision that could lead you into a state of heartache with the three of swords. Yeah, someone around you may be making their wishes come true here with the nine of pentacles energy and it's in connection to them where you see a new path up and up by the end of August that is a gift from the universe in the form of the ace of coins. So a beautiful new path will grow and prosper, but there needs to be intellect. There needs to be the cutting away and bringing an end to who and or what no longer serves you, right? We cannot have a three-party situation, so there may be some form of temptation here. Yeah, there's a desire here to sneak into the direction of a different doorway. Oh, my. And here we have uh, maybe a water sign involved, an earth sign involved, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, 
now we have the king and the queen's energy or king and queen pardon me of coins energy so thinking about home and family and money yes wanting to reach out to someone to see if there is a balanced connection wanting this ten of cups energy of a happily ever after someone is feeling like they went the distance when it comes to a passionate situation and now they're conflicted so some Sagittarius is spirit saying you may be doing this to yourself not sure of what action steps to take but someone here in the area of this king of cups an older water sign Pisces Cancer or Scorpio we got cancer energy here in the inner strengths position they are here to help uh, create uh, a beautiful foundation with you and for you so wishes coming true uh, be careful what you wish for someone here is going to go quickly into the direction of a wish come true and then you're going to be indecisive about what to do you're going to be clinging to what you feel you have which you don't feel is very much so spirits giving you the strength to receive attention but to also trust in karma right good decisions lead you beautifully forward into abundance here and tradition and long-term happiness and success uh, but bad decisions, of course, will cause a shocking realization, uh, shocking endings here. So by the end of August, going into September of 2022, we have a Sagittarius here who is connecting with uh, a Queen of Cups energies, male or female, a very intuitive feminine, could have water in her chart, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, or this is your energy. But uh, I think this is someone looking at with the sun, a Leo and or a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio, uh, trying to uh, decipher which person or situation you should go towards. Now, with the Knight of Coins energy in this particular deck, right, the Tarot of Dreams deck, this is fast-moving energy instead of slow like the Rider Waite. So someone or something is going to come towards you in the area of money and stability that you've been waiting for. It's going into the direction as well of a water sign. So if you're questioning air, earth, or water, right, air being Libra, Aquarius, Gemini, earth being Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, or water Pisces cancer or Scorpio spirit saying go in the direction of water so if this is a cancer energy or just trust that spirits giving you the strength to go into the direction of victory and success because we've got judgment here so there could be a fear of being judged in relation to uh, king of air Libra Aquarius or Gemini a new path have faith in this path, see, I keep seeing a new path in love, a renewed love here in relation to a water sign, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Yeah, someone's researching something tied to their past and they're feeling a bit burdened. But Spirit is saying, think things through. New blessings are going to come, a new path is going to develop, and there's going to be a shocking realization of someone's success. Uh, I think this is you and someone you're with moving forward into a path of victory and success freeing yourself from an empty offer here in the actions position by the end of august recognizing communication in relation to someone you know and a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to money great financial abundance so remember that spirit saying in your subconscious position right be careful because the truth could come out and rock someone's world here about a three-party situation and or um, there could be a shocking offer or opportunity where you contemplate, should I stay here or should I go? What is the path of greater fulfillment? Exciting communication uh, regarding this Queen of Pentacles energy. Um, thinking about celebrating with family and friends. Okay, so that could just be an overall energy. Really feeling like uh, you're with someone who's a very caring, loving, giving, financially stable energy. And there's children here for some. And there's just the realization uh, that you're on the right path. Somebody might be tempted to go off this path, right? But Spirit's saying it's time to get to the truth of the Page of Swords energies about love. What is your question in the area of love? journeying into the direction of love thinking about celebrating in the area of home and family so we got a younger maybe air sign in the midst of this libra aquarius gemini and in the relationship sector yes we have someone here who is this young woman energy 
a younger woman, younger than you maybe, and or this is your energy, ready to come into marriage commitment or partnership and receiving communication about money. So we have the Lord energy in the tower, shocking realization when it comes to a father figure, grandfather figure, boss. I am feeling like we have a masculine thinking about a young woman here, thinking about love, wanting to journey into the direction of the future and future celebrations. But there could be some form of temptation here in the second half of August here for you. Sagittarius, we have the letter card and then a Sagittarius looking up at that cup contemplating, is this love or is it not for some Sagittariuses. In the relationship sector, we have a union or a reunion, again, maybe with a feminine earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So we have the love card looking over at a reunion, trying to get to the truth of, am I going into the direction of love? and celebration i want to communicate with this person but subconsciously i am connecting with someone who's cold and closed off or i've been cold and closed off when it comes to this young woman because i'm not sure of the light at the end of the tunnel of what i want because communication and temptation and reunion and a desire to travel into a direction that is a little bit unhealthy here is what spirit is warning this Sagittarius of. They're saying keep on keeping on, right? Day to day with the three of pentacles energy. Take off that blindfold and give thanks to spirit daily about what you are grateful for. All that you have created at this point is your truth. Uh, you are this Lord energy, and, and with the love that you are in connection with at this time, it is through that connection where there will be communication of great fortune or some form of lump sum of money, win, inheritance. So in the inner strengths position, we have the chariot and joyfulness. So Spirit's giving the Sagittarius the strength to travel into the direction of joyfulness, to cut away from indecision. To communicate about love uh, where you're at uh, but be careful be careful of a reunion is what I keep hearing all right so in a three card summary with the same gypsy Oracle deck we've got someone walking in their ego right I want what I want when I want it because they're feeling alone in the room energy connecting via a service business organization with the thief energy to sneak into the direction of another in hopes of passion with the lover card. We have doctors and an ending, okay? So that could be what's on your mind. Maybe an old connection ended and now you're just hoping uh, to heal. Maybe you haven't healed all the way. We have stubborn energy and falseness. Maybe from this young woman energy. But Spirit saying they are healing with the malady card regarding a child. And we do have a younger child energy in the relationship sector representing Earth, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn. So the person you're thinking of or you have grown uh, through difficult journeys. And Spirit's trying to guide you now, Sagittarius, into the direction of conversations with others whereby there will be a gift. The realization of transformation. You've changed. Uh, someone else has changed. Uh, someone else's spirit has flown away with the old woman energy. And they are reborn. They are refreshed on the other side. They are uh, peace. Uh, at peace. Okay, that's what I'm hearing. And so this is a realization of I have grown, changed, and evolved. Therefore, when I am, I need to find contentment, right? Instead of discontent and boredom. So I can bring an end to waiting around to surprise or be surprised by a friend because we have the enemy energies of lies and deception out to have a good time lust and deciphering faithfulness when it comes to home despair regarding a wife or a situation tied to the past but profits and abundance will come through communication over the second half of August, just like we talked about in the relationship sector with this young woman energy here and the page of coins. So we have the realization that with the faux card, I've brought some form of sorrow upon myself. 
and now I need to think about uh, what I want to celebrate, okay? So, boy, there's like right on the edge. Am I going to make a good decision or a bad decision in the second half of May? Because we have someone here who is waiting around to for marriage commitment partnership. And uh, maybe this is you. This is you or someone else who's feeling imprisoned in a state of misfortune. I Here I am and I want to create fortune and I want to move forward. But I'm thinking about a reunion because of some form of communication. So Spirit's saying give something some time and research that. Be careful of taking action too quickly. If this is a temptation... So I'm going to bring in to close with the Romance Angel Deck by Doreen Virtue. This is definitely love type energy. Financially, yeah, journey into the direction of uniting with someone because there could be an unexpected offer or opportunity of joyfulness and success here. And Spirit's saying, hang in there. If it's about money, uh, we're giving you the strength to find this path of joyfulness and success with the chariot and the joyfulness card. But we, I see communication of joyfulness in the area of love. And here's why. Okay, so mid-August, we have a Sagittarius uh, where there's a lot of magnetic attraction. Or it's on your mind. Okay, but Spirit's saying this is love. So maybe you're trying to get to the truth of a situation regarding love because either the passion hasn't been there or now you're being tempted. So in the subconscious position, you may be thinking about connecting with friends, journeying into the direction of friends, asking for help and support in the area of love. Interesting. Oh my. So we have passion and communication maybe with an earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, or Capricorn for the Sagittarius. Uh, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Remember, love is patience and kindness. Uh, there is someone here, this young woman energy, who is ready. You or someone else who's ready for a deeper commitment or partnership. So we have engagement here. All right. So this is either you or someone else. Sagittarius, the Lord energy is kind of a bit shocked here um, that uh, there is some form of passion developing. So there is an opportunity for this Sagittarius to raise their commitment that they have now to a higher level of commitment. Take action to free yourself, right? So yeah, there's a temptation coming in here, some form of communication, and it is an empty cup. It's someone who maybe is just there for the passion, or that's what will happen, and then there'll be a shocking realization of a three-party. Okay, so there could be unexpected, yeah, stuff. And Spirit's saying, free yourself. Uh, take back control of your life when you receive communication from someone here in the second half of August, Sagittarius. Trust and have faith. Uh, that you will come in together with the right one. Either way, uh, you or someone else is going to be this very uh, feminine, loving, giving, motherly type energy. So spirit saying, remain optimistic about your life. Okay, maybe you've been feeling cold and closed off because of this chemistry situation here. Uh, but spirit saying, be passionate about uh, all that you have manifested. Be passionate about creating now with those who are currently in your life a light at the end of the tunnel when it comes to tradition. Positive thoughts about love are going to lead you into the direction of a higher level of commitment with someone here. So day-to-day -day spirit saying you deserve real love. And as you work with others in the area of someone who's financially abundant, secure, and stable, there's going to come a message of abundance from those around you. Uh, fortune. So someone here is wearing a blindfold and they don't see that the fortune lies right before them. And if that they go into the direction of a temptation, there will be a shocking realization and the word will get out. Wow. So in the inner strengths position, we have getting to know each other slowly but surely. As you connect in a joyful way with others, Spirit saying, we will guide you beyond difficulties and challenges and instead into the direction of success. Uh, by the end of the month, you will have the strength to take back control over your life instead of uniting with someone that could really th throw things off track. Look at very soon you will clearly know with marriage commitment and partnership uh, what you want uh, in a relationship. Okay, it's safe for you to love. So yes, indeed, some of you are already with your soulmate and you're just afraid to go that little bit of distance to be open about love and where things are headed, right? Make the effort to share love. And that starts with by loving yourself first. 
I love and trust in spirit that I have been guided to the path I'm at now. Now, for some, here comes a temptation, a new love here during the second half of August. If you don't know who this is already, Sagittarius. Uh, if you're single, you know, feel the feels. Enjoy the romantic feelings, but spirit's saying, keep it up in mind and take some time to retreat, right? Take some time to think things through when it comes to the romance of a lifetime. Don't try to control how something's going to transpire. For you, Some are going to recognize, okay, if you're in a relationship, there's a test here, and you're going to realize by the end of August going into September that you are indeed with the right one. For others, there was a strong, passionate connection, or there will be mid-August, and you start to think about raising something to a higher level of commitment. You start to think about uniting or reuniting with someone, and but we have a shocking realization that maybe someone here has a third person, or that they don't want to raise this connection to a higher level. Someone here is putting on the brakes. So don't control uh, the area of a true love. For spirit will bring you signs and synchronicities of happiness when it comes to connections with others in the second half of August. And that is the direction why be, why, be, whereby you are meant to go. All right, so this is a really long video. Uh, again, uh, should these messages have resonated in some way and or you would just like your own personal energy read, feel free to write me for a personal reading via my email, which is josiek42 at gmail.com. I offer four one-half-hour video readings, and they are a one-month, three-month, six-month, or yearly reading, and my price list will be in the box below this video. I am still offering the Summer Special, which is a 15-minute video reading for just $25 if you'd like to give that a try. So thank you so very much for those likes, those shares, and those subscribes. Thank you to those of you who have attended the live Zoomcast on Wednesdays and or the live YouTube podcast on Thursdays, both at noon U.S. Central Time. Thank you so very much for those donations as well. Take care and God bless.